As fighting continues in Sudan amid a shaky ceasefire, the neighboring South Sudan faces economic ruin due to the threat the conflict in the north poses to its mainstay oil exports. The fighting in Sudan erupted on April 15th between forces loyal to Sudanese military leader Abdel Fatal al burhan and the paramilitary rapid support forces under his deputy Mohamed Hamdan Dagro Hemeti. South Fuzanis and government officials say the fighting risks damage to the pipeline that transports crude from the oil fields to Fort Sudan in the Red Sea. Fujoba oil accounts for over 90% of the government budget and 70% of the GDP, uh, GDP. And disruption spells doom to an already ailing economy with an inflation rate of 27.8% according to the IMF and a high risk of debt distress. Peter Biar Ajak, a South Sudanese scorer in the Baylor Center's international security program in the U.S. this week told Al Jazeera that the country is concerned that if the fighting continues, the pipeline could be damaged. A call Mien Coil, a South Sudanese commentator, echoed the sentiments noting that there is no guarantee that the sudan route will continue to be viable he said the country must seek multiple routes for the export of oil according to the transitional financial arrangement signed after south sudan achieved independence in 2011 jobber pays khartoum freeze and a non-commercial tariff to ship its crude to international markets. The country produces 156,700 barrels per day. In 2022, South Sudan paid Khartoum US dollar 148 million as a cost for oil processing, transportation, and transit fees. The country earned US dollar 1.4 billion in oil revenues compared with 135 million US dollars in any oil revenues and now the government says the buyers of its oil are taking advantage of the conflict in sudan to negotiate lower prices information minister michael mcway who is also the government spokesperson said oil prices have been hovering around 70 per barrel us dollars and even lower at the same time oil production has been affected because some contractors have ceased operations and foreign workers are leaving the our oil fields due to the fears of insecurity mr cole noted that the country stopped depending on oil as the only main source of income and start diversifying its economy with most reliable and the fastest source of income being gold mr mckay said the government is looking at an alternative oil export route through Ethiopia to the Djibouti in towards December 2022. Juba bought land in Djibouti to build a new export terminal. Thank you so much for watching.